Drum roll, please. With a cheesy intro, we are kicking off another episode of free plugin February, reviewing 28 plugins in 28 days. Remember, these videos are being posted at 8 a.m. Pacific time or 11 a.m. Eastern time. And it's been an amazing month, you know, basically reviewing all these different plugins. It's a lot of fun, honestly, and I'm reviewing so many different types. And for today, we're looking at the X Crash. This is the best crash VST plugin I've ever used for a few different reasons. Obviously, I'm going to get into it in terms of the sound quality and also the features. I feel like that when it comes to crashes, it's such like a rare thing to have a plugin that has a bunch of features because you're like, oh, it's just a symbol crash. That's it. Like, what more do you want? But this plugin brings in a lot of unique features and ideas that I kind of like. So if, let's say, you are a true percussionist where you're very, very uh, specific in your productions about the crash sound and all the elements with it, this is a great one to pick up. I'm going to give this one a 3.9 out of 5. So let's jump into it. Now, first off, I want to say there is no, basically, pitch adjustment. So when I play it, regardless of the note that I play via MIDI, it's going to give me the same exact sound. So keep that in mind. I can also do trigger right here. Now, in terms of the goo, you can see we have the master starting here, the velocity dynamic, and also can adjust different things here. And then, of course, panning. But now, going to these main features, I have punch, release, pan. This is basically turning it off and on. And they have two different mics. And this is what's really cool about this, is I have basically a condenser mic at the top, and then I have a room stereo mic. So turning them both down, if I trigger it, or basically play it, Nothing happens, which is actually a very good sign. Now, turning both on, basically going back and forth. Let's start with the room mic, so it sounds like this. And then now just doing the top condenser mic. Right, so it's kind of cool that you can kind of adjust depending on what you want, almost like the different microphones that are recording the crash, right? So I can do, let's say, let's say I just want a little bit on the top, but then more of like a, a big room stereo style sound. Right, and then just I can adjust pan on each one. So, like, say I'm like, right, I just want the room to be on the right, and then the top to be on the left, for example, to make this odd kind of stereo with winding style effect, right? And that can also adjust the punchiness. So, I'm gonna put these back here. So, I'll just keep these both here, right? This looks so keep these equal so I can adjust the punchiness. Actually, I'll just do it for each one. Right, or right, depending how punchy you want it. Like, let's say you want it to be like, and then on here, right, same idea. So I could have so more subtle, more like of a hit. So, like, say if you want to adjust this, I believe, can you do this? Uh, you can't configure it, or can you? Let me see. No, of course you can't configure it in Ableton. Eh, it's a bit annoying. But if, let's say, I want to basically do some more module like this or whatever, it'd be kind of cool to kind of start here, go. Right, or something along those lines. And then also this way I can turn it off and on. So let's say I have like something like this. Now just the room stereo mic. And then just the top condenser mic. And that's what makes this a really cool plugin because I feel like for most crashes, I usually don't even think about it. I just grab a sample probably from Splice Sounds, being honest, and use it in my productions. But what's cool about this one, if let's say, again, you are you know, a very intense percussionist where you're very specific about the type of crash that you want in your track, this is hands down the best crash plugin I have ever used. <laughs> 